The bike is already starting to look so good with the wheels on. I can't wait to install the fairing so that we can see what the whole thing is going to look like. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part 6 of the R1 Rebuild. If you guys haven't seen any of the other parts, I will put the links in the description below. In the last video, we installed a new radiator and some of the other parts. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Also, I've noticed that at least 80% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and just click the subscribe button and the bell notification at the bottom of this video. Just remember guys, subscribing is completely free and it won't cost you anything. Now without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. All right guys, I got the wheels back from the painters and I must say they really look insane and I think it's going to look epic with the fairings that I got. And I also put a brand new pair of Pirelli tires on. They are Diablo Rosso Corsas. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about why I had the wheels painted this way, but don't worry, just wait until the fairings are on and you guys will understand. Now I want to start by installing the discs and sprocket on the wheels and install them on the bike. So let's get into it.
All right, guys, the bike is already starting to look so good with the wheels on. I can't wait to install the fairing so that we can see what the whole thing is going to look like. But now I want to install the sprocket cover as well as all of these plastic pieces that go on the swing arm. So let's get to work. Alright guys, I finished installing the mud guard, chain guard and sprocket cover. Now I want to install the top yoke, fairing stay bracket and shorty levers. As well as I've got a brand new pair of domino grips. Now before you guys go and smash the comment section, I know that these are actually for off-road. But it doesn't really matter because grips are grips at the end of the day. And I actually like the way these look. But now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and install the rest of the parts onto the bike. Alright guys, all of the parts are connected and the grips need to dry overnight. I know there's still a little plastic piece that needs to connect over here. As soon as I find it, I will install it. But for now, let's see if I can repair this little clutch cover thing and respray it. Alright guys, I finished spraying the cover and I'm gonna let it dry for the next 48 hours. I'm still waiting for some parts from Yamaha and the Acropopic exhaust I send in for repairs. Hopefully all of the parts will arrive for the next video so I can start putting the bike back together. And with that being said, that's gonna be a wrap for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram at Gareth underscore Collins. Remember to stay positive and be visible. Until next time, peace out.